For this PWR workout, I'm gonna use a 40 pound PWR sandbag, but if the weight gets too heavy, all I gotta do is unzip it from the end, because that's where these bags work, and I take one of the tubes out, and I drop the weight and continue the workout. I'm also gonna have it in the backpack configuration. And if you've never seen this on the PWR sandbag, these straps go on and come back off. So I can wear it as a backpack, do push-ups, pull-ups, or anything I want, or take it off and just have a regular workout without them. I've got the PWR bag in the backpack configuration with the chest straps pulled tight, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is 100 weighted push-ups and 100 step-ups onto this tire without taking the bag off. I'm probably gonna break it up into 10 push-ups, 10 step-ups for 10 rounds. Here we go. I've got my two favorite drinks and my number one fan. On the push-ups, I touch my chest to the board and lock out at the top. You may notice this board. I like using that because it helps me keep my fingers bent and takes a lot of pressure off my wrist. Try it and let me know what you think. You can step up on anything you want. I just happen to have this tire here. But make sure you alternate legs. Step up with the opposite leg and step down with the opposite leg. I use this piece of scrap lumber just to keep track of how many I've done. Stop as often as you need to, but start back as soon as you can. And remember, you can adjust the weight throughout the whole workout, whatever works out for your best fitness level. That's that 20% I was talking about. You think you're done at 80%, I promise you. That's the best part about doing 100 reps, is that you can see at 80, you wanna quit. The last 20, that's where the intensity really kicks in. Okay, 10 sets of 10, that was 100. Like I said, I probably could've done a few more step ups without the break, but when I got to that 80 on the eighth set of 10 push ups, that was about my limit. I pushed real hard through the last 20, Great workout. You're gonna feel it in your chest, of course, your legs, and your wind and your cardio. It's all metabolic conditioning. Keep up the great work. We'll see you next time.